Hi, this video is going to be on how to use the FLT93 switch as an interface device. Hi, my name is Alan Kuby, and I'm the Inside Sales Supervisor and Product Knowledge Workshop Manager at FCI. The FLT93 can be used as a flow, level, or temperature device. To set up the switch, first of all, you want to make sure that you remove the circuit board to access the power connection. If it's an integral switch like this one, there will be a socket inside the enclosure for hooking your power to. If it's a remote device, that socket will be in a remote enclosure and there will be a terminal strip in the probe enclosure to hook your power to. On the bottom side of the circuit board is a handy guide to help you to set the jumpers for your input power, your relay energization, uh, heater wattage, etc. The thing to, to remember when we're doing level interface is that every fluid has its own capacity to remove heat from a thermal dispersion type device. Water has, has the greatest capacity to remove heat, oil less so, and air even less. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate using this beaker the voltage outputs that we get in air, oil, and water. And we're going to record those voltages here and then we're going to find the voltage that is in between the, the, the voltage for water and oil and make that the set point for that detection. And then we're going to see the voltage that's between the oil and the air and make that the set point for that uh, interface detection. So let's begin. All right, in our demonstration we have an FLT93 set up and we have it set up as an interface detector with a beaker that has a sensor installed in it so that we can immerse the sensor in air, oil, or water. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a voltage reading in air and it's about 7 volts and we're just going to record that as our air voltage. And then we're going to put the beaker in oil, wait for it to stabilize, and take a reading there. Okay, for our purposes here, we're going to say that uh, oil has a voltage of 5 volts. Now we're going to take a voltage reading in water. Okay, now water has stabilized at about 2 volts. We're going to set one of the alarms. I'm going to use relay number 2 to detect the interface between water and oil, and I'm going to set it at 3.5 volts, which is half of the voltage between the uh, water and oil uh, voltage outputs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the switch into the calibrate mode so that I can dial in 3.5 volts. Because I want to go down in voltage, I'm going to go counterclockwise. And approximately 3.5 volts. Then I'm going to go to relay number two, and I'm going to, because the, the light is off, I'm going to turn it clockwise until the light comes on. And you can actually hear the relays clicking. Turn it off and on so I know it. So you, you can tell when you're right at the set point, you can make it go off and on. I'm going to leave it in the on position. And now I'm going to dial in a simulated voltage output for the interface between oil and air, which is 6 volts. I'm going to go clockwise because I want the voltage to go up. And I'm going to go to relay number 1, which is the red LED. The light is on, so I'm going to go counterclockwise to make the light go off. And now I, can have it, now I can have it where the light comes on and off. You can hear the relay clicking. And I just leave it where it's in the on position. And I put the switch back into the run mode, and I'm good to go. All I have to do now is turn uh, the beaker from water, where I have both relays out, to oil, and we'll see this relay click here in just a moment when it reaches three and a half volts. There you go. This relay will remain out until I turn it into the air position. We'll watch the red LED when it reaches six volts. It'll come on. There it goes. All right, to summarize, what we did was we took voltage readings, turning the beaker to expose the sensor head to various media. In water, we recorded 2 volts output. In oil, 5 volts. So we set R25 as an interface between the water and the oil at 3.5 volts, which was halfway between these two voltage readings. 
And then, to detect the oil-air interface, we set R26 to 6 volts, halfway between the 5 and the 7 volts. And then, we turned the beaker, and we were, no, we were observing the lights and how they function. Both lights were off for water, one light was on for oil, and both lights were on for air. This indicates the relay states. And by using the relay logic, you can tell which state that you're in. Now, one final thought uh, to pass on to you about using the FLT switch for an interface application. It's important that the tank has stable fluid. If the fluid is moving, the movement of the fluid is also going to remove heat from the sensor and drive these voltages down. And so sometimes you can get a confused state where you don't know if it's a movement of the fluid or a change of the interface fluid. And so it's important that the fluid be stable. Uh, if, if you sense that there's some sort of agitation in the line, sometimes some sort of shielding or standpipes can help to prevent the movement of the fluid from affecting the output of the instrument.